I'm happy to see uh, the BNTU come alive. I think even in their release, they said that the, the sleeping giant has been awoken. And I think that the government of Belize has taken that for granted. And so they go as far as they're allowed to go, which is the beauty of democracy, that you have the stakeholders, the United Democratic Party, the NGOs, the unions, the churches, that can all make pronouncements on the urgent matters impacting our society. And um, it is a hallmark of our democracy that we can threaten protests, we can threaten strike action, and the government has no choice but to listen. And when they don't listen, um, then they suffer the consequences. So I think this government has spent all of its capital and they have no room uh, to not listen when the unions and the stakeholders, such as the United Democratic Party and churches and NGOs, speak. And so I think this is a telling moment. And so um, all of the stakeholders need to continue to speak. I would have to agree um, with Brother Flowers that um, both CEOs should uh, return that money. Um, again, uh, I saw your news coverage saying that you can get a plan for 250. No, you can get five SIM for 250. That is the family plan. So uh, they need to reconstruct whatever it is they're trying to do for the CEOs or whoever um, within conformity of logic and the regulation. So if our brother Flowers um, has pointed out that it is irregular what they have done for the former CEO and what they have done for the current CEO, they should fix it immediately.